Hi guys, let's look at this simple question that we have here. The question is, what is the value of x? So we have a diagram here and we're expected to find the value of x. So this is a simple question involving angles. Looking at this question, you are going to see the application of two situations. One, sum of angles on a straight line and two, sum of angles in a triangle. In order for us to find the value of x, we need to know this angle here and this angle here. However, in order to know this angle, we are going to apply sum of angles on a straight line because this is a straight line. And also, in order to determine this angle, we are also going to apply sum of angles on a straight line. So let's call this angle angle P and let's call this angle angle Q. Okay, so let's solve together solution. So for us to find the value of X, we need to know angle P and angle Q. But for us to know angle P, we know that this is a straight line and we know that the sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. This means that P plus 125 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so P plus 125 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, P is equal to this positive 125 degrees moving to the right becomes negative. So you have 180 degrees minus 125 degrees. Therefore, the value of P is equal to 55 degrees. So now we know the value of P to be 55 degrees. And looking at this point, we can also see that this point is on this straight line, okay? So Q plus 85 degrees is also equal to 180 degrees. So Q plus 85 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Plus 85 degrees moving to the right becomes negative. So we have Q is equal to 180 degrees minus 85 degrees. Q therefore is equal to 95 degrees degrees. So the value of Q is equal to 95 degrees. Now we know the value of P and we also know the value of Q. Therefore, we can easily find the value of X applying sum of angles in a triangle. So we know this angle as 55 degrees. We know this angle as... Hi friends, are you looking for a platform that offers comprehensive GCSE courses for maths, English and combined triple sciences? Look no further. MME Premium is your final answer. You can have access to all GCSE courses through a recurring monthly payment for as long as you need them. With each of the courses, you have a revision session, practice questions, and topic tests to assess your knowledge. To get a discount of 50% on your first payment, use my discount code on my bio. This also gives you access to my Telegram group, where you can ask me personalized questions concerning any topic on GCSE. Remember, the discount code gives you access to a 50% discount on your first payment. Don't forget to use the code on my bio. It's 95 degrees. Therefore, if we sum all three angles, we're going to have 180 degrees. So sum of angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees. This means X plus P plus Q is equal to 180 degrees. But now we know P to be 55 degrees and Q to be 95 degrees. So we have X plus 55 degrees plus 95 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. 55 degrees plus 95 degrees will give us 150 degrees. So X plus 150 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Next, we are going to move plus 150 degrees to the right, and this will make it negative. So X is equal to 180 degrees minus 150 degrees. 180 degrees minus 150 degrees is going to give us 30 degrees. Therefore, our value of X is equal to 30 degrees. Very simple. This is the answer to this simple question. 
If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video, share with your friends, and follow for more mass content. See you in the next video. Bye.